what is up everyone welcome to the vlog and today we're going to continue the renovation of the bathroom we worked on the garden a lot in our last vlog now we're back to renovating the house to get it ready to sell yada 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 so now i gotta cut i just measured the next sheetrock that i have to cut this one's going to be a little trickier because one cut is different than the other cut but anyways enough of the chitter chatter let's get cutting this fucking drywall it's so fun Weird seeing you like out of your room. What's up, man? You need money? No. Why are you talking to me? I'm just so used to you being gone and missing you. No one who. I survived. You survived? Yeah. 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 Got like $9,000. Don't do that. Luna, get back here. The, the one who died, he only got like $3,000 so far. He like the other way around. No, I guess not because when you're in the hospital, that's where you rack up medical bills, right? Right. But I guess when you die, though, you have to pay for costs. Jesus Christ, Sarah. What? It's fucked up. Come here. Come here. Come on. It's nice to see you. What's up? Yeah, that's 
pretty good. I like it. I like it. It's pretty good. This goes in on too much, but yeah, it's looking good, dude. Yep, so I'm gonna just screw these in quick. Here's what's going on. I gotta cut this piece off. It took me forever with spacers and this and that. And not really forever, it's just in my head. Just I'm so, I'm I'm getting so irritated with the sheetrock and shit. Like dude, if it was just if it was just me doing it, this shit would have been Oh, and I understand like a lot of it though Sarah's right. She wants to my wife, she wants to get it right and this and that, but like sometimes it's like dude, I'm just trying to sell the house. Like, yeah, do it right, but like do it good enough to where it's good enough, you know? sell the house like it's all that needs to be done dude. because I, when you paint it and you get everything the way that it should be it will look so beautiful no one would notice it being a little off no one except for the people that built it that's why it's just like <sighs> but a lot of times she's right so i'm not saying she's wrong but if we were building it for us we're not building it for us we're building it to just get by make it look pretty enough and this has been the most difficult sheetrock cut we've had to, this is where we're gonna have to put this through the shower head we measured this way 15 1 16 and up four and one eight an epic cut so we'll see probably the most i held my breath out of anything we've done we gotta sand it and yeah, she's good to go i can't believe it let's go i mean i can believe it but i was i was holding my breath when i went to put it on there now just time to safely sand it <laughs> Yeah, look at that. That was a fun cut to do. I didn't know it was Christmas early. We're getting there. I didn't know it was Christmas That's right, early. no one's. I see this was half inch and this was, or no, five eighths and this was three eighths. This is hell. From the lip of this. I still have this last one to put in down there because it was a little bit different because there's just that little space there. Oh. And I got it cut already, so. Oh. So we were so happy that we got that circle correct on there and all that. So here's what happened. So well, I'm pulling the van in. Move, move that hammer. So anyways, that, so we were blinded by what was going on here. So then all of a sudden we noticed that it looked off or whatever. I'm like, fuck. And I was noticing too, I'm like, what's going on here? What I did was I cut it all evenly with, um, I can't remember what kind, what the tool's called usually, but anyways, what do you do? My daughter is like throwing shit around and I'm trying to, so anyways, moral of the story is I didn't get my cut yet done that makes it all even, so got to restart tomorrow with just that part but we're excited because we did the whole good so it'll be fine see that's what i was talking about see i cut all these lines straight and then i was starting to get ready to do this and snap the line but i was gonna wait because this one's more difficult gosh now i gotta do that tomorrow get a straight line because the plumber's in and then i'll redo it so that is the end of this one um i'm gonna have to start this tomorrow um definitely was a good day um i don't mind doing this stuff after work and grinding it out it's actually fun uh i like the project after work depending on the project this i've gotten really invested in but we're gonna hammer it out tomorrow too so i'm gonna keep going keep going once we're done remodeling the house, it goes up for sale. My older brother said he wants it. I said, well, go to the bank, get financing. And if you are approved, I'd give it I would love to do that because it'd be cool for us to actually come back and visit and see our plants and our garden and just everything. If they kept it or, you know what I mean. But so that it would be an easier sale contingent on us finding our next house. My brother wanted to buy it before, but then didn't want to when I said contingent on us buying our next house. That's real normal, I told him in the industry now, but I get why too, he wanted to just move right in, but it's like, no, we gotta look for other place. I don't wanna do the whole stand at a relative's house where we look, and I've done that twice, and I said to her, I'll never do it again. It's not against everyone, it's just, it doesn't work. It's fucking annoying. 
That's it for this one, everyone. Have a blessed one. Stay close to your family, be in the moment, and have fun with your life. That's it. I'm out. Peace.